So uh, congratulations on your Emmy win for Outstanding Writing. Um, when you heard that you, when you saw that you won, were you surprised or were you kind of expecting like you thought you had like a pretty good shot at this? I was totally shocked. Um, I never go into these expecting to win. Um, and, and this year was no different. It's, uh, but when they announce The Bold and the Beautiful, it's, it's you know, it's, you turn into a child again and you start jumping around and cheering. And uh, it really is a thrill. The Emmys are, um, you know, such a, 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 an honor to win one. And, and uh, this year especially, I was so proud of the story. Right, the story was so great. And how many Emmys for writing now have you won? Five. Five? Five. <laughs> I've and, been in 33 years. But. In 33 years, five. Okay, and then for, but you've had show, so including executive producing for the show, what's your total Emmy? Uh, uh, I, think we've, <laughs> I think we've had four for best show. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So you've got nine. Three or four. Okay, okay. So what I, <laughs> So what did you think of, I, lo I liked your acceptance speech, and then you had, we, we were talking originally, how, it, did you like what you did, and was it difficult to film the speech, and, and how do you feel that went? Well, my daughter was holding the camera, okay. and um, no, it's, 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 for me, it's, you know, it's so difficult. I was petrified. <laughs> you know, I had my daughter pointing a camera at me in my own house. You would think I would be comfortable and natural, but no. Uh, I, I, I'm just not good at that. Um, that's why I keep them short. I, I, I'm not a great public speaker. That's why I, you know, I bow down to every one of our actors on the show because I don't know how they do it, how they can be so natural uh, in front of a camera. That, that thing scares the life out of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, uh, the hope, Liam, the whole story was hope. That really was the, what the focus of these were. Um, you really laid this out as we talked about for like nine months. Was it like nine months through the whole? I think it was about nine months. Yeah. Nine months. And did you know as you were going along that you were going to keep it? Like, did you at some point say, we've got to have the secret come out? Or did you just want to keep it going and going and going and going and going? So the audience would throw things at the TV, but they were frustrated. But, you know, it was such a big payoff. Well, I knew that I wanted to keep the secret. Uh, for a while. You know when you have a gem of a secret um, that uh, you need to to mine it for everything uh, uh, that it's worth and you need to be, and it was it was a gem of a secret because of the way Annika uh, you know uh, and and Scott uh, uh, played those scenes um, and uh, because of what they do to make Hope and Liam so special and and a couple that you want to root for um, and you feel that there's this in a terrible injustice and and you want to see them happy and you want to so um, that that was the key to the secret uh, having um, two characters uh, that, that the audience cared so deeply about and, and that is thanks to Annika and Scott they're brilliant actors they were brilliant I mean you found you struck gold with Annika she really took the amount of work load that you gave her because she was called on to cry and just being throughout the ring of them i mean just the emotion she had to go through episode by episode by episode when you saw what she was giving back you had to be impressed of what like she can handle this and we're going to give her more <laughs> more I, I was blown away i mean wow she is such an honest and thoughtful um uh caring beautiful pure actress um, and uh, uh, yes, it, yeah, I mean, she, she, she's really uh, the, the, the lead reason why, why we were able to, to uh, play it out for, uh, for nine months um, uh, because people cared so deeply about her. When you shot the scenes on the roof, when you know, she realizes that um, baby Beth, Phoebe is baby Beth and the truth from out, gets out of um, Thomas and Liam's up there, you were up there, I assume. You were there when they shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You obviously thought in your head because it's such that that moment when you see that shot from the roof and you pull back and you see it was such an epic sweeping moment. Was that how you envisioned it as a writer? Like that's how we we're going to, yeah, yeah, the story because it was so like how could you not cry watching yeah. that? It's well. It, that's how you envision it. But, you know, we envision like <laughs> Ben-Hur and, you know, Avatar every day. 
and you know we have we have to shoot it quickly, um, and uh, we have all of our restrictions. Um, so when you envision it, and and then it becomes that, and then it becomes greater than than you envision. Uh, that's when you know you have a, a, an incredible production team, um, uh, directors, producers, every every level, and and and, and actors who are just uh, bringing the magic. And, and that was a, a real magic moment for us. Uh, your writing team is all over the country, right? Like the yeah, team. So for those that don't know, how does it kind of work for you as the head writer with your team? Like do you, do you delve out, you know, for the audience that may not know how the team works? I work most closely with Michael Minnis, who lives in Austin, Texas. Um, we are in, on conference call uh, uh, every day for hours and hours every day, um, um, discussing uh, the, uh, uh, the plot. And then, uh, and so I'll have a, the plot in my mind, uh, we'll discuss it together, and then Mike will be writing outlines based on our discussions. Um, uh, he, he's an incredible uh, part of the, the, the head writing team. Uh, and then those outlines will go to uh, Michelle Belgin and you know Rex Best, and, Shannon and, and Adam, and we, you know, we have um, writers uh, all over the, the United States. Um, they'll write the, the shows to come back to us. We'll do an edit. Um, uh, Mark Finchotti is, is, is great at editing along with Mike and myself, and, and then off to the next one. Do you do Zoom calls like now, or do you still do phone calls with your team? <laughs> so I suggested Zoom calls. Uh, <laughs> You know, writers don't like Zoom calls. They don't like Zoom calls. They don't like Zoom calls. They don't, you know, uh, <laughs> it takes a lot just to get us out of our bathroom <laughs> and our hair combed. <laughs> because we wake so up. You said that because I've talked to other writers. I'm like, I don't want to do a Zoom. Yeah, nobody, you know, yeah. it'll, it'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, you know, they honored your mom in the In Memoriam, Lee, on the In Memoriam segment. Um, what do you think she would have said today, uh, you know, that you won your with writing Emmy and I, I'm sure you're Miss Mom right now and I do and she she would have been so proud she um, uh, she was incredibly supportive um, of my writing and she watched every episode uh, um, she'd tell me when it was good and she'd tell me when it's not so good <laughs> um, so she was an honest sounding board uh, uh, to go to um, but uh, the tribute to my mother was really beautiful and uh, you know, thankful to Tony for his mention of her in the YNR speech. I'm so happy YNR won Best Show for the the Kristoff tribute. It was oh yes, yeah, really spectacular. They did a brilliant job with that. So uh, to have YNR and B and B, you know, winning these Emmys and airing on CBS, it, it all was was made for a special night. And my mom was watching. I'm sure she was. And did you ever think, Brad, when you got into this business when you were younger and, you know, you were following the footsteps of your dad and, and mom, were you ever thinking, oh, gosh, I hope I can live up to this? Or was it pressure on you? Or how uh, was it for you? Because you've made your well, own mark now. Yeah, I mean, it was pressure of following uh, <laughs> the writing of Bill Bell, who... Uh, I, I mean, <laughs> He, he was, you know, he, he was spectacular. What a writer. What, how, what a, you know, he was so um, solid and uh, uh, um, uh, he, he created a brand of entertainment um, uh, at the same time, completely off, off the wall and unpredictable. Um, and he would do things that people would say, you can't do that. <laughs> it would just fuel him even more. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I had the great fortune of having him as my father and then of working with him and my early years of writing, he would edit my scripts with his red flare pen to a point where the, the page was more red than it was white. Dad, where's my script? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, and and we, we, you know, we would, uh, we would have uh, times where we would really, you know, go at it and, as writers. Um, and, uh, uh, but it was all, uh, it was all because he cared and he gave me that kind of time and, um, uh, and then I, I mean, I feel like uh, I have my own style, but uh, but so much of it is reflective of, of who he who he is uh, through his work. Did Laura Lee call? Did your, your siblings call? Yes, Laura Lee called. <laughs> um, the phone was buzzing, and and uh, yeah, it was a very special moment for the Bell family. That's great. 
All right. Well, I guess we'll see what comes next year. Maybe it'll be a six time Emmy winner next time we talk. I've got a bunch of scripts for what's coming next on air. We, you know, we've had, we've had a chance now to, the writers have been writing. Um, so we've never been more ahead of, of what's filming. Um, and we feel very good uh, about the, the shows that are, are, are coming up. We're going to have a great uh, end of summer and fall. I, well, everybody is so excited that you're back. And I mean, the fans are clamoring for more new B and B. So, um, and congratulations on getting back to work and at it um, in the midst of everything that we've been facing. Um, Thank you. Well, we're all excited to to be back and to bring some some uh, some fun drama to the fans again. We miss the fans. We miss you, and uh, we'll be seeing you very soon. All right, Brad. Congratulations again, and uh, I'll see you hopefully sometime soon. Great. Thanks, Michael. All right. Bye. Bye.